nine millionth ring store we've been to, and I can't find the perfect ring. Ugly ring, ugly ring, ugly ring. <laughs> it's a beautiful selection. Okay, so maybe you don't get her a ring. Maybe you, maybe you do something different, you know? Maybe you get her an engagement bracelet, you know? Or an engagement tiara. <laughs> oh, an engagement revolutionary war musket! <laughs> You know, I'm so glad I picked you to help me with this. Huh? Uh -huh. Can't you just imagine getting down on one knee and handing her this gorgeous piece of weaponry? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the ring. <laughs> oh, this one's nice. I like this one, sir. Uh, kind sir. Can I see this one? Wait a minute. Now, this, this is the reason you brought me, okay? I know how to haggle. So let me handle this from here on out. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, yes. I would like to see that ring, please. Or not. Whatever. <laughs> This ring is from the 1920s. It's a one and a half carat diamond with sapphires on either side. Sir, could I ask you to, um, could you hold out that ring and ask me to marry you? Okay. okay. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh my God, that's it, that's the ring. <laughs> How much is it? Chandler, I, I will handle this. How much is it? <laughs> 8,600. We will give you $10. Are you interested in this ring? Yes, yes, but I can only pay $8,000. Okay, I can let it go for eight. We stand firm at $10. How would you like to pay? Uh, credit card. Oh, no, 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 but I lent my credit card to Joey. Okay, I'll go get it. You guard the ring. Okay. Listen, I'm sorry about before. Do you have anything here for $10? Uh, yes, I have these two rather beautiful five-dollar bills. I'll give you one dollar for them. Okay. Um, I'd also like to try on the tiara. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, what do you think? Too much? A tad. Okay. Take the tiara back, and let me hold the musket again. <laughs> Something's missing. It's not... Okay, oh, let me see the ring that my friend picked out. It's the 1920s princess cut ring. I just sold it to that gentleman. perfect ring. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty nice, but I'm gonna go with the one I picked first. Oh, wake up, Chandler. The one you picked is gone. It's over. <laughs> what? Some guy bought it. I'm sorry. I tried to stop it, but they put me in jail. They put you in jail? The little jail between the doors. <laughs> Phoebe, I asked you to guard the ring. I know. I'm sorry. But, you know, this ring is better. And Monica never even saw the other ring. Yeah, but when he proposed to me with the ring, I got Goosebumps. Maybe it was the guy. It was the ring. There he is. Okay, and he hasn't proposed yet because she has no ring on her finger. <gasps> wow, you're good. After this, we should solve crimes. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go get him. Oh, okay. Excuse me, sir. Could you come with me, please? You have a phone call. Who is it? It is your office. Do you know who at my office? John. Oh, John. Great. <laughs> hi. Hi. Okay, there was a slight mix-up at the jewelry store. The ring you're about to propose with was supposed to be held for me, so I'm gonna need to have that back. But, in exchange, I'm willing to trade you this beautiful, more expensive ring. Wow, I would trade. Mm. It is beautiful, but I'm gonna use this one. Now, if you'll excuse me. No, no. See, this is my fiance, and her heart was set on that ring. You don't want to break her heart now, do you? Yeah, do you want to break a dying woman's heart? You're dying? <laughs> yeah, she's dying of a cough, apparently. Yes, and it is my dying wish to have that ring. 
See, if I'm not buried with that ring, then my spirit is going to wander the netherworld for all eternity. Okay, that's enough, honey. Uh, I don't know. Let me see the ring. Great. Okay, here. All right, I'll do it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you are about to marry a wonderful man. <laughs> Hey, I'm marrying a dead woman. <laughs>